It's in these rural rice fields that one of Cambodia's newest entrants into politics says that change is being triggered. The Grassroots Democracy Party, or GDP, formed just over a year ago, says democratic awareness is spreading among rural voters who have grown weary of the top-down leadership that characterises Cambodia's two dominant political parties. Tired of waiting for state funds to be released from the provincial budget, farmers in this village pulled their own money and built an irrigation system that benefits the whole community. People agree with each other that if we don't build it by ourselves and wait for the government, we will not have it. Because the commune chief said this water gate cannot be built using the commune's budget. The GDP says this community spirit is turning Cambodian politics on its head. The party's founders say collective decision making is unusual in rural life where people have become accustomed to the apparent obligation of their village and commune chiefs to leaders in Phnom Penh. Farmers' collectives, initially coming together to give themselves more bargaining power for their produce, are now turning their eye to local politics. Starting in villages close to the capital, the party's founders say they are meeting with disenchanted voters and providing a platform for people to debate and vote on a range of party policies from economic development to health and education and even foreign relations. In short, our policy is focused on rural development from the grassroots decentralization to make sure that each person in the commune level has enough capacity to solve their own problems and the freedom and resources to solve problems for themselves. Yet rubbing against the grain can be fraught with danger in a country whose political history is marked with violence. In July, prominent political analyst Kem Lay, whose research helped form the GDP, was assassinated while drinking coffee at a cafe in Phnom Penh. The murder, which bore resemblance to political killings of years past, sent shockwaves through rural Cambodia, where the government critic was well known for his regular appearances on radio. With just 2,000 members currently, it will be a slow burn for the grassroots democracy party, but it is tapping into a more politically engaged and better connected rural electorate that is demanding more from their leaders. Daniel de Carteret for VOA News, Takao Province, Cambodia. <laughs> Thank you.